Welcome back to another episode of the DAPS show. Now, this one is going to be a short one. It's going to be a beautiful one. I think you're going to enjoy it. You're going to appreciate it. Um, it's going to be one that you're definitely going to appreciate because it's going to be quick. It's going to take you where you need to go and get you to your destination as you're driving while you're listening to this. Again, before I dive into it, happy Black History Month and every day after this month as well. Now, a few things we got to talk about. This one here, I'm going to be discussing a book, a beautiful book by a wonderful author. I'm going to try my best to pronounce his name properly before I butcher it. Um, it's called Between the World and Me. It's very powerful and thought-provoking by Ta Nahisi Coates. Ta Nahisi Coates. I hope I got it right. Um, so we'll be talking about that. But before we jump into that, another author is speaking to you, and that's me. I want to share one of my first books published, Scriptures from the Sidewalk. This is a book of poetry. If you're one that is into poems, this is for you. It stands the test of time. This is actually a book of poems about me as a young man growing up in the neighborhoods that I grew up in and experiencing the things that I experienced and how I got through high school and early college years by writing and how poetry saved my life. All right. So make sure you check that out. Um, another book right here, the best of gray. This one is a children's book, right? We have hard cover and soft co cover uh, for the kids, right? Make sure you get it for the kids. That one was actually, let me share that with you. Um, that was created and published um, by gray miles publishing. And that is, you know, my little one um, and myself, we put this one together. It's her artwork that you'll see throughout the book, um, you know, as far as the cover. And I'm the one who illustrated the, the, the images. So there's more to come, uh, but I just want to make sure I plug that so you can get an opportunity to support this uh, greatness as we're doing it. Right. And so you can check that out on uh, great graymilespublishing.com. There's also an Etsy store shop that I'll provide in the links. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it's readily available. If you're listening on Podbeam or any other platform that you listen to the uh, podcast on, I'll make sure I put some links in there that will get you to that shop so you can actually um, help support everything that we do. Now that I have that out of the way, let's dive into this. Um, if you haven't read this book, right, Get your copy ASAP. It's a quick read and, you know, it can be finished within a day or two max, right? And that's Between the World and Me by uh, Tanahesi Coates, right? So make sure you grab your copy. Look how small this book is, right? I can hold it, you know, it's very small, okay? In one hand is what it looks like, just so you can get an idea for how small this book is. It's a nice, easy read, okay? Right. It's a nice, easy read just so you get an idea of what you're getting yourself into. But it's one of those books that's going to change the way you think, the way you see things. All right. Um, now, <clears throat> before I dive into the book, one more thing I got to share with you. And I promise I'll be done with the promos and, and the plugs. <laughs> All right. Uh, but this is a must. Uh, the Patreon option uh, for the show will be coming up very, very soon. And I need all your support to expand the show and invite as many different voices to share their stories with you as much as I can. Right. But it can only happen with your support. OK. One of the benefits as a Patreon member is that you'll be automatically entered into a monthly draw to win some of the dope books that I'll be giving away. One like the one that we're going to be discussing today, right? Between the World and Me is definitely going to be one of those books that I put in there to give away for free, okay? Um, and a few other uh, books that I have that I want to give away and so forth. Members will also get an early um, access to video footage of every episode before it's published on YouTube, okay? And that's it. I'm done, I promise. <laughs> But I do appreciate your patience with me, and I do appreciate your support as always. Now, Between the World and Me is literally a letter, right, by the author Coates, 
um, to his son, in which he reflects on the state of race in America and the ongoing legacy of racism and violence against black people. Right? So it's a lot. It's heavy. Right? It's heavy, but it's light enough that it's very digestible. Um, the book is deeply personal, right? It's a deeply personal exploration of what it means to be black in America. It offers a chilling critique of the systemic uh, inequalities and injustices that we, you know, we experience, as well as what has shaped the lives of many, many black people over, you know, a span of centuries. Okay, and that's what makes this small book so so powerful. The author also draws on his own experiences and the experiences of other black men and boys in America to illustrate the challenges and ups obstacles that you know they face on a daily basis. And that's a testament to what I mean this book is, is all about. These are some of the things that makes you know between the world and me so unique. The use of all those experiences of those black men and boys right to explore larger social and political issues. Coates' letter is, is a statement, but more importantly, it's a testament to the deep love and concern that a parent has for their child. It speaks to the larger question of what it means to be black and what it means to be a black parent in America today. Coates writes about the fear that black men and boys live with, the fear of being targeted by police and other authorities simply because of the color of their skin. Now, not so long ago, <clears throat> not too long ago, pardon me, my wife was just sharing a story with me um, involving the director of uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever and how he went to the bank to withdraw some funds and he wanted to make sure he was discreet in how he did it because he was withdrawing a large sum and how that turned into a situation where he was, you know, um, arrested or handcuffed. I shouldn't say arrested. He was handcuffed while the situation got sorted out. Because the teller that he approached in, in his attempt to be discreet took it the wrong way and actually assumed the worst and ended up contacting the authorities. And they came and obviously, um, you know, took that approach. But the question, I guess, that, you know, the director was asking was, why would I come to a bank to rob a bank and provide this teller? with my own ID, my bank card, and like it just makes no sense, right? It just makes no sense. And so those are some of the examples that go on within the black community just because of the color of your skin, right? So I just want to kind of share that recent anecdote Mind you, I don't know the full scope of that story. So if you know it, great. Um, I think, you know, it's important for us to um, do the research on our own. Um, I just took it from my wife's uh, perspective. So I could be completely wrong with the story and how it actually unfolded. But I just want to share a tidbit of how these things happen and play out. But do look up the story and, and, and you know, vouch for yourself and then, uh, confirm the details for yourself. But back to the book, Between the World and Me, the author also writes about the trauma of experiencing racial profiling and police brutality and the, and the toll that these experiences take on a person's mental and emotional well-being. And these are things that we don't factor in when we just decide to call authorities on somebody, right? how we can kind of flip their entire universe upside down with that one call because of our own biases that we have or our fears that we have yet to address, okay? Another aspect of the book that sets it apart is its focus on black bodies and the ways in which racism and violence have been inflicted upon it. <sighs> to be more specific, the bodies of black men and boys, 
okay, quotes, writes, and he reflects on the ways in which these experiences are not unique to just him as a black man, but they're a part of a larger pattern of violence and oppression against black boys and men. And how, how devastating is that? That's, it's very devastating when you look at a group such as black men and boys, you know, who experience this on a daily basis because of something that they can't change, because of something that someone else fears. And it's somehow become their fault. Right? And, and the challenge that we have as a society, we have to deal with. These are the things that I want you guys to really think about, right, before you make your judgments or your calls and, and so forth, right? But again, this book is one that, again, I'm, I'm vouching for, I stand by, between the world and me is a powerful reminder, right, of what freedom is and what it means to be free in America or in the West with a black body, right? Coates also challenges the notion that America is a land of opportunity and equality. He also argues that the freedom has always been a fleeting, elusive concept for black people. And this is very, 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 very sad truth. It's a very sad truth because we are the only group that is often promised a dream. We are sold dreams. But the reality of trying to achieve or fulfill such dreams or hopes very very fleeting for you know fleeting for a fact so pardon me there but that's something to consider that's something to look at okay a significant message you know that the book eloquently displays is the importance of educating black boys and men right about their history and the place in this world. Coates reminds black people that this knowledge of self is essential for building self-esteem and a sense of pride. If you don't know yourself, someone will tell you who you are. If you don't know where you come from, someone will tell you where you come from. If you don't know what you stand for, someone will give you a place to stand. Right? It's that simple. Okay? But he is absolutely right. And that's just a nice reminder in a small book for you to consider. And I think you should grab it if you haven't gotten a copy already. He also points out that helping black men and boys understand their ways in which racism and oppression have shaped their lives can also save their lives and protect their future. The author also writes about the importance of community and solidarity in the face of racial oppression. He argues that it is <clears throat> only by coming together and supporting each other that black men and boys can overcome the obstacles they face and achieve a real and a true sense of freedom. Between the world and me. It really pushed me to really think about what my legacy was going to be and what messaging I want to leave for my son. And so... It's one of those books that I think every black father who has a son should read. And every black mother who has a son should read. And, and have a greater understanding of what your son is going to walk into when they leave your house. Okay? I um, just want to take a minute there. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please, please go and do that. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's just a click. And what that means is you're going to be notified every time I drop a new episode, which, by the way, is every Monday's 5 a.m. A new audio um, episode is released. OK, and the video footage is released at a later date. Again, if you become a part of that Patreon membership, you get access to it as soon as possible. It's almost like a live stream for you. And, um, you know, it gets really posted at a later date. But as far as the YouTube channel goes, as far as the Podbeam network goes, please go ahead and subscribe. Every little bit is appreciated and it goes a long, long way. Now, my goal is to reach 500 subscriptions 
right? Subscribers by summer of 2023. So go ahead and make that happen. Please, guys, make it happen. And on YouTube, I want to make sure we get, I want to try and reach a thousand watch hours at the same time if we can, all right? I'm going to keep dropping the videos, right? Keep sharing them, keep forwarding it. And it goes a long way. And I appreciate you for that. Much love. Now back to the book. Between the world and me, I mean, I've been stressing it. It's extremely powerful, right? It's a personal perspective on the state of race in America by the author, right? He also tells stories of, um, you know, other black men and boys and how they experience the same systemic um, issues and challenges, right? It's also a powerful call to action that's urging all black men and boys to resist the forces of oppression, to fight for justice, to fight for equality, right? It's messages of education, community, resistance, and liberation are just as relevant today as they were back in the MLK, Marcus Garvey, and Malcolm X days, right? It's a testament to the resilience and strength of the black community. It also offers a powerful critique of systemic inequalities and injustices that continue to plague and shape the lives of black people in the West today. It's definitely a book to own in your home, whether you're black or you're not. Everyone should have a copy of this book. Everyone should own it takes you two days to finish it. It's a short read, but it's one that will stay with you for years to come. Thank you for tuning in to the episode. Thank you for tuning in to DAPS. As always, until next episode, love, peace, and nappiness. Mm -hmm.